This is Rocky Hall, and I'm on the front line. Ecuador was the very first country that granted constitutional rights to nature. Camera down! And although we are considered a uh, president among many countries, this is the flag that represents all the na indigenous nations down south, the Abya Yala, which is the name that we call to our land she before came here the from European Ecuador. invasion. We are the Abya Yala people. The Abya Yala extended all what is like the, the three Americas. It means the land of vital blood. That is what I, Abya Yala means. And I came here to feel myself with a strength. It was hard to decide to come and talk, but I had to do it. And I appreciate a lot you listening to me. And I appreciate everything that you're doing. And thank you for everything you do and everything you are. We are learning. And I'm here to service. So if there's any way that I can support, please let me know. Thank you so much. You've been trying to push me. The tribal members have told the DAPL to come and remove their equipment. We let check it win, we let check it win, Ma. Who I am doesn't matter. What matters is the message. I come from the legally occupied territory known as California, one of the richest states in the world. They're trying to raise the Shasta Dam nine feet. They say there's a drought, but what they're doing is they're selling all the water. Yep. They're letting oh, yeah. Crystal I'll Geyser too. desecrate our sacred lands. We ain't having it no more. Oh. Our Winnemun people have been on the dam for over 10 years, war dancing, praying for the land. In our way, we don't believe that we're native unless we have that connection to the land and we pray at the river and we stand up for our sacred sites. Oh. In my culture, the women is the power, the dreamers, the weavers, yeah. the backbone. Yeah. It's time to rise, but it's also time for unity. I stood on the highest mountain in the world from sea to sky, Mauna Kea, with Auntie Pua, with all the Kanaka Maori. Never were they faced with that 30 meter telescope on their sacred mountain where they had their sacred water. She had a dream and the spirit came to her and told her that she had to protect the mountain. And she said, but I'm only a school teacher. And she went and she rose an army. And they believe in the aloha, the breath of life. And they stand disciplined against the colonizers. And they stand strong in their medicine. They do not break their discipline because that's what they want. They want division. They want anger. They want hate. They want all these things so that they can harm us because they can't have what we got, and that's our power. It's time to believe in ourselves. It's time to take our ceremonies back from these culture vultures and these people that are misusing them and stand up for our women and our children. You men that got that European attitude like you don't need to listen to a woman. You need to check yourselves. I like this guy. You men that know better, you need to check them. We're not pacifists, we never have been. But we believe in our medicine wholeheartedly, our medicine wholeheartedly. And it's time. Enough's enough. Oh! oh. 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 Wayland Gray of uh, Muskogee Creek Nation, Oklahoma. And uh, first off, I want to thank the people of this land for allowing us to uh, come to your territory. Oh. Help stand up with you. Very honored to be here. Uh, the greatest feeling I ever felt was coming over that hill and seeing all the people out there, all the tribes coming together. We fight many battles. Uh, right now we're fighting for our sacred land in Alabama on Hickory Ground. 
Ojibola. Uh, we're a tribe called the Porch Band that got recognized in 1985 and acquired our sacred land that we have in Oklahoma now, that we still have our ceremonies at. Ojibola was in Alabama, and the tribe uh, uh, that got acquired our land and desecrated our sacred land and uh, dug up 60, over 60 remains to build a resort, a casino on top of it. And we went to try to stop it, you know, a few of us. We got arrested and uh, charged, got charged with terrorism and all kinds of stuff. And, Ended up going to uh, uh, courts and got charged and got uh, sentenced to five years. Spent a sentence with the jury trial last year and won. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so we fight many battles and one-on-one. -on -one, it's a very hard battle. But we all come together. We cannot be beat. Oh. 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 For all of our issues. We have to come together as one because we are one. Yeah. We're all oh. brothers and sisters. We're the same. Oh. Oh. It's a very tough battle. And uh, you know, if we protect the sacred, the sacred will protect us all. Forever. Good afternoon. My name is Sam Hunter. I'm an anthropologist from Southern California. <laughs> I protect a site called the Black Mountain Complex. Thank you. There was a battle fought there 7,000 years ago. So your history goes back at least 12 to 16,000 years. It goes back forever. Yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Right. Creator, creator brought us here. One of the things that everybody has been taught was that the Indians never had any form of writing. It has taken me 16 years, but I have absolute proof that that is not true. Woo! I also have the name of the person who came up with the legal strategy to steal the <laughs> land from the Indians using the government to do it. His name is Lewis Henry Morgan. He made himself a friend of the Indian. Everybody thought he was a great guy. I asked my colleagues, master's degrees, PhDs, I asked them what was his day job? And nobody can tell me. What I will tell you is that he was a railroad attorney. I am honored and I am proud to be here in your life. And I thank you very much for allowing me to be here. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Noah. I'm mixed. I'm from Haudenosaunee, Eastern Woodlands. First of all, I, I thank you, sir. We always ask from the leader permission to speak. That pipeline is a tentacle of a much larger beast. Yep. Yep. I'm here because I heard there were 7,000 Ongwaho here. That's why most of us came here. This is the heartland of the turtle. If you disregard the Canadian border, the Canadian-American border, this is the center. Oh. This is about more than just the pipeline. Yes, it is. We've got to keep our numbers up here. I know many are going to see that uh, the tractors are going to leave and they're going to say, oh, it's over. I've, I've been to many standoffs and it just disappeared. Thank you. It's much larger than the pipeline. Mm -hmm. We've got to keep our minds in the indigenous mindset. I don't mean to be negative, but <clears throat> this is a time for us to rebuild our, our sacred culture, our sacred language, what is sacred to us. You can turn on the radio and hear any, any rock and roll. I wouldn't go into Longhouse and hear rock and roll. 
I want us to keep this indigenous. We, we call it Ungohoi back where I'm at home. It means the real people. Now, obviously, I'm mixed. I'm not discouraging any race at all. But this is, we've got to keep our, our one mind and the sacred turtle's heart to make this stronger so that it doesn't dissipate. I have people, my friends and family, coming from back at home, the Haudenosaunee, because of the numbers that are here, because we're under the Ungohoan thought. I just want to keep that, I want to put that out there. Keep it native, keep it indigenous, keep it Ungohoan. Respect the, respect the house as to where you are. No, just, when I say, when we say, we say, let it be one in, in our minds. Is neto di niotik, and that's how I feel. Amongst all of us, keep it on going, keep it native. It's bigger than this. Keep it growing. Let it resonate out. <coughs> it's time now. You know what? Uh, 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 uh,
with uh, the United States, which is called the EIN number or charter or bond. Okay. This kind of gets really touchy, so so I'm going and I'm going to touch you eventually. <laughs> sovereignty, full sovereignty, is a contract between sovereign nations, government to government. When the United States went bankrupt, they lost their sovereignty. They're no longer sovereign. Ignorance of federal law is no excuse. These are the tribes that owe the IRS. So think about it. 1933 bankruptcy, and it's 2016 right now. Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe, Frisco year. They owed the IRS $3,003,076.952. Crow Creek Sioux Tribe owed the IRS $2,038,867. Oglala Sioux Tribe owed the IRS four four million two hundred eight thousand dollars seven hundred and eleven dollars we're gonna go down here there's five tribes one of them is the standard rock sioux tribe one million fifty one thousand seven hundred seventy six thousand dollars now times that times 19 33 that that number is actually a lot higher than what they're saying so the next one is there's a woman United States Department of Interior Ramsey K Cole she's the deputy solicitor where'd that woman go in, in the cities in the bigger cities Reno Nevada LA New York if you solicit on the street and are homeless you go to jail Think about it. Washington don't have a home. They don't have a charter, a bond, an EIN number, and definitely no treaty. But they have a deputy solicitor. Oh. <laughs> 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 law of the land. <clears throat> law of the land here states all laws which are pertinent to the Constitution are null and void. Wow. <laughs> Mary Mayberry versus Mayberry versus Madison. Under 28.002, United States is a federal corporation. Now here's the catch. In 1933, when the United States went bankrupt, they never got a federal rent from 264 federal recognized tribes, and if they did, I need to know. However, Washington is sitting on federal land, and I can't remember the name of that tribe, and so we are going to have to claim intimate domain on the White House itself. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chronicle list of international treaties. 264 federal recognized tribes. All your treaties are not in here. You are going to have to follow the Fort Laramie 1851 treaty. And this is world treaties I'm talking about. Chronicle list of international world treaties, world ambassadors, world leaders, world judges. That one judge who made a decision here, he's a state judge who made an international decision on our people <laughs> all the way around the world. That is treason against treaties. Yeah. That's a death sentence. <laughs> There's only one small problem. The Lakota people don't believe, don't believe in killings anything or anybody. So I said, leave it up to me. I'm from Wounded Knee. <laughs> but honestly, I really do have to follow our loved ones, what they say. 
no matter what. We just put them out so, and we made replicas of the Santa Pinta and uh, Nina Maria. Yes. 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the greatest honor to our leader here to read in the Chronicle List of International Treaties what it says in 1851. What does it say on 1851? 1851, Fort Laramie, the United States negotiates safe passage from Oregon Trail settlers with Native Americans. Okay, what does that mean? That means that the Fort Laramie 1851 treaty is not a deed, it's not a title, and it definitely it's, it, it's not a gift from God to the United States to take over our land or to Dakota Access Pipeline. We own this land, and land is not for sale. You know, back home, I'm uh, from Washington State. My given name is Tuptalo. My Christian name is Sean Yannity, or by the federal government, I'm known as the Norman Number 82. In Washington, we're battling our legislatures and our Attorney General. We won the federal court case, the Bolt decision, back in uh, 1974. We're still fighting in court over salmon. Nowadays, we're fighting over clean water. We're watching that metropolis work its way up the I-5 corridor to our relatives on the coast. can't even get the EPA to help us out setting water quality standards to protect our waterways that we drink, we bathe, our salmon, our shellfish. And then we were fighting the railroad at Cherry Point. They wanted to put a terminal in up the Lummi Nation's sacred site. Those rail cars go through our territory every day. You see the oil, oil tankers and the coal. All it takes is one of those to crash, and there goes our clam beds. And I hear people say, "Well, look at the Exxon Valdez; it's all cleaned up. <laughs> it's beautiful again up there." <laughs> our great leader Billy Frank Jr. visited up there. And went out to the beach and he dug not even six inches underneath the ground, underneath the rocks where they were in the tidal waters. And you were hitting sludge. It recovers on the top. <laughs> it looks good, but looks could be deceiving. And that's what we're fighting for back home. That's what we're fighting here. <laughs> through all of our lands, just protecting our way of life, protecting the things that our ancestors survived on, the things that we want to survive on, those traditional foods. Our tribe is a, it lives in a concrete jungle for the Stola Quabs. It means the river people. And I want to ask permission to, to be here in your homeland. Welcome to our homeland. Oh, see, um, I didn't do that this morning. I, I apologize. But it's wonderful to be here with all of our relatives. The flag we brought to leave here hung at our natural resource building. I'm also the fisheries manager. Gary Tatro, our council member, as well as our wildlife policy. We fight for our treaty right. We fight to keep those traditions, the interests of hunting and fishing going. 
we fight for our salmon. Our salmon are listed on the Endangered Species Act. We get 30 Chinook a year. That's our allocation. Our habitat is being destroyed faster than we can fix it. So we stand here with all of you to protect your drinking water, your habitat, your children. Us Kwiatu Tia Bakswatim to hold sacred all the earth. Okay, hi, my name is Christina. I came from Flagstaff, Arizona. And we didn't sit around and talk about countless problems because there are many. And it's hard for me to stand up here and talk about this stuff in front of crowds of people, but it's time. And it would be great if you guys would all stand up and show the energy.
<laughs> awesome. My cousin here is also talking, and I'm so proud of her because we don't usually do this too much. And oh, me glad for all of you people being together and standing together. And don't let it go. Go to those federal buildings. Go to your people. Tell them that the, those that can't make it here, make the stance there. We can't take over. I know it sounds radical, but trust me, if you do it in a peaceful and prayerful way, you won't be stopped. You can make the change. You have to have hope and faith, and it will happen. I saw it happen in our country, and I know it will happen here. And I bet this one will be even bigger. You can make change for tribes all over your nation. You're an inspiration to all nations. This is going to create a great change all over the world. I hope you all know that, that you are a part of this great change. This is almost a drop in the bucket of a ripple effect all across the world. The entire world is watching you right now. Do you know that? And they will not let this die. We will not let the water die. But we will heal our land. It is not too late. Miigwech. Santa Clara, Kapo Owinge, Parzia, people of the sun. So, from Santa Clara, we're water people. The water serpent brings us our water on her back. While our water is drying up with a mixture of uh, Los Alamos National Laboratory throwing their uraniums in our backyards. Now, the more I hear these stories, we all have similar stories. We all have something going on in our backyards. And just like she said, we should not only go home and talk to the people there that could not make this travel because like this gentleman said they can't even buy food that's pretty sad that means the people here need our support and the people back home can only dish out so much so what i might what i'm asking is i research find out who's investing into these pipelines the big banks withdraw your money from these banks do not bank with them yes. Invested into this pipeline. This man is supposed to now become president. What do you think is going to happen? This is not over. If he makes office, the problem is going to resurface. As indigenous people, make sure we go back home and do not vote for him. Nobody vote for him. Nobody go and, and invest in, in the Walmarts. You know, these are all corporate companies who sit above us, looking down at us, laughing. But we actually are the richer ones in heart and spirit. My aunt told me to come out here, come out in peace. Where we're from, we're very restless. We, a lot of our kids are into drugs and alcohol. It's because they're displaced. They should be warriors. I, I, my, my heart goes out to the young men getting on their horses in the middle of the night and patrolling. They have purpose. We all have purpose. Now it's to be in sync with what Mother Earth wanted us to be. Whether it's a warrior, a speaker, a provider, nonetheless, we must respect her and we must respect our elders. And I see this when I'm feeding. I see a lot of the men standing before the elderlies. That's not how it is at home. The elderlies eat first. Oh. Then the kids. Oh. Then the women. The men, if there's leftover, then we eat because we have the ability to go out and get our food. We need to respect every single buddy and... The women, most of all, we, men don't bear children. And like this lady was saying earlier, they sat in the womb for nine months. You know, this, so it's, it's time for change. Give the women the right and the respect that they need to input their value into our society. We're men, we're warriors. We think with testosterone, they think with their hearts. Yeah. Yeah. So please, I'm asking you, everybody go back home and make a change this is a big deal do not promote these big businesses and really look into who's promoting this this, this there's people in million dollar mansions wanting this to still go 
and it's not going to go as long as we're here. He lives oh. in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> they live all over, honey. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the biggest one lives in Texas. Well, Los Alamos National Laboratory, they did a project in the 70s where they blew the uranium in the easterly direction because they knew that all eight northern pueblos were east of their wind. So many of my elders are sick. So many of them lost before their time. My Matt Matt John Chehey at Don Bissado, he's a drummer, gone way before his time, and with him went songs that I should have learned, that my, my kids should have learned. So what I'm asking is, whether you're native, you're indigenous or not, embrace this. We're all family, we all came from this planet. Nobody owns anything, we're only here for a brief period of time. No walls and just more love. Thank you, Kunta Waha. <laughs> My name's Ivan. I'm from Attawapiska First Nation on my mom's side. Um, and my father's from Burns Lake, British Columbia. Um, in both of um, my mother and my father's side, we have water issues as well. Attawapiska, we can't even drink our own water. We have to get it from a well. Um, and my father's side, uh, their community uh, is, I guess they just uh, signed um, uh, permission for a pipeline to go through his community and my father was deputy chief and he tried to get the council to vote no but he kind of got kicked out of that after that happened so um, I'm really happy to be here because um, we again like the message is we all have a fight with water and um, I just like to share a song with you from um, um, from Canada, we're from Canada, and um, <laughs> just to let you guys know, a lot of people don't know where Canada is or where <laughs> we can tell them, and they're like, like okay, we have no idea where that's from, but we're from uh, Northern Ontario. Um, I came with a couple of Cree women, my family, and a woman from Walpole. Where is she? But anyway. Um, yeah, so anyway, I just yeah, I just like to share a song. Um, it's a water song. Um, I sing this. We sing this back home. Some of us uh, full moon ceremony for women. It's a ceremony for women because um, back where I'm from, women are um, the protectors of water. We pray into the water. So when we do our ceremonies, uh, women come and bring the water and pray into it. And also um, full moon ceremony because we're connected to the moon, our cycles. And um, so it's a very sacred time. And as women, we are very sacred. So is water. Water is life, right? Right. Water is life. Yeah. Um, so I just like to sing this song. Um, and also sing for the ancestors too because they like hearing these songs and prayers and stuff like that. So uh, bear with me because I'm a little nervous. But I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna close my eyes so all right <laughs> all right just keep going from your heart that was your fault stand up move I told you to stand up.
Colorado. Learned a lot since I came here a couple weeks ago.